Welcome to Fleet Friday. In today's episode, we will be showing you engine one half. Aerial, medic, respond. Should be working fire against any smooth or little tree and ski in Broadway. Go ahead and uh, upgrade the car. Copy. We've got uh, four buildings involved in this time. Uh, collapse on three of them. And second one. Second alarm. Yeah, T34, power 45. Engine 42, engine 14, engine 44, engine 15, medic 34, medic 44, district 1, battalion chief 2, safety 18, medcom off 14, second alarm structure fire. Engine one half is probably the world's smallest fully functional piece of higher department apparatus. It's actually custom fabricated and designed to be as realistic as is humanly possible. Um, if you step inside of the cab of engine one half, it's the first thing you'll notice is the controls. And engine one half has its own set of fully functional emergency lighting in addition to its I mean, right, having an onboard siren. Um, and so the vehicle, of course, can be driven. It's uh, the same as any other piece of apparatus. And everything that engine one have, has is it's like absolutely functional. So for example, in addition over to the master control switch, engine one half has its own camera, which can be shown through this monitor kind of right here to help drive it. it. Has both a rear backup camera as well as a side view. Um, in addition, it's, I mean, um, it also has its own functional headlights and spotlights. This is the engineer's panel for, a, right, for its like engine one half. This is one of its kind of side view cameras. It's uh, to help to control it. Um, right here would be engine one half's cross lay. So, it actually does have its own cross lay, which is it's absolutely functional. In addition, over to its cross lay, engine one half has its own semi right onboard water tank. It's uh, the same as it's like any other fire truck would. Um, this is it's uh, the tank fill, so it's where you can fill the onboard tank as well as it'll take a shoreline it's uh, the same as a hydrant um, in kind of this case it's a it's a tiny little garden hose right but this truck can actually take a supply line um, every one of these kind of gauges that you see here are completely functional the electric plugs here actually do work and it actually helps to support it so the lighting systems of its like engine one half over when it's on display I am going to turn it on for you so if you want to stand back for a second. So it's got a deck gun over an engine one half. It's completely functional. Um, in addition, discharge one actually controls the cross lay. Right, but for example, uh, we can show you like kind of discharge two here. So it's uh, the piping systems on this truck are completely operational, so they do work. It's, I mean, right, every bit of it. That if it's at night, it's so uh, the panel lights actually do work. It's a little tough to see. And then in addition, engine one half actually has telescoping scene lights, which are right here. So these can be kind of directed to wherever I mean, right, that they need to go. This is engine one half's hand tool compartment. All of these tools were custom fabricated and designed over to be safely used by children. So it's like, I mean, all of them are lightweight and they're not sharp and it's like all that. Um, engine one half also comes with several sets of child size turnout gear which can be utilized kind of by children over when it comes over to the various events and 
it's like obviously they can play around with the hand tools that I mean actually kind of come with it too. Um, o engine one half came originally from the Wheat Ridge Fire Protection District. Um, it's I mean over to honor the men and women who actually helped to create engine one half, it's, of which I'm one. Uh, we chose to keep some of the original markings of its other unit over to honor those who actually helped to create it. Where the engine's kind of gas tank is. Um, some of these access panels are more for maintenance purposes of its other unit itself and it's to give us access to its other various points. Um, if you if you kind of come around from the back it's uh, you'll see the dedication plate over for it's over for engine one half. I mean, this unit was originally built over in 19 98 right right and it was modeled after engine one and engine two which were two lance pierce engines i mean open this compartment this is actually some of the controls of its other unit um, it was custom fabricated and designed so the electrical work inside of it is all custom so these two batteries help to control the electrical systems of its like engine one half Right, which also comes over with its own onboard battery charger. So it's uh, the unit can actually maintain its charge as it's being propelled down the road, you know, right, in a parade or what have you. Um, this is engine one half's hose bed, I mean, of course, the wildland fire hose. <laughs> right, is essentially what it is. Um, it's just more for the supplies of its like engine one half tools and cleaning. Um, engine one half has its own head of emergency cones, as well as kind of various tools over in the operation and some kind of fire line tape. This is one of the access compartments. This is where engine one's half, it's, I mean, onboard water tank is, right? And it also uh, allows us to serve, it's uh, does, well, it's uh, to service the engine if need be. Um, it's, this particular unit is gas powered. It's, I mean, right, as a kind of modern golf cart is. I mean, but obviously it just has a substantial, it's, I mean, right, electrical system on board over to support all of the lights. And this is the last access compartment. Um, right, so this just gives access over to its uh, the piping systems as well as this is where the unit's air horn is it's like actually located. My name's Dave Welch. I am the creator of Engine Half. It was created for my nephew, Ricky Marquez, as a Halloween costume. This started out where my sisters would be involved in creating different vehicles for him. The concept, Ricky didn't want to put on a costume and sit in his wheelchair the wheelchair had to be part of his Halloween costume. So I went down to the Wee Ridge Fire Department, went in, explained to them who I was, and <clears throat> Deputy Chief New happened to be in the front office, and as soon as he heard who I was, what I wanted to do, he couldn't open the doors and pull the trucks out fast enough. From that point, I started drawing and creating. It was built over an electric wheelchair, so I built the cab around it. And this is more <clears throat> where a lot of the body panels were fabricated and bonded to the structure. And this here kind of indicates or shows how the cab would tilt up and the wing out panels would fold down out of the way. First thing I built was this pretty much made from pvc parts from sinks a rainbird water sprinkler head a flex hose shower hose which is snaked up in through the inside a handle off a half inch air drill 
and a window crank assembly off of an RV roof vent. Spent six months in the evenings and weekends fabricating this. And after the first parade, it was an old wheelchair, so it didn't hold up very well. It kept dying, we ended up having to push it down the parade route. Someone had donated the fire department a golf cart. At that point, Gary and his dad, Glenn, were instrumental in crafting the body onto a golf cart. They got me back involved and I started doing some major modifications to the cab. So on. Then we, after that, I just started going crazy making all kinds of upgrades and modifications to this to where we are today. The South Metro Safety Foundation is the nonprofit partner to uh, South Metro Fire. Um, we handle uh, a lot of the community education programs such as uh, CPR, we do uh, CPR for adults but also for uh, children in babysitting and youth safety classes. Uh, we also handle driving classes, um, we actually have a, uh, a driving pad that was specifically designed for our programs which offer more of an advanced level driving for uh, not just teenagers who have been in uh, accidents or received tickets but also adults who, uh, who want to be uh, better drivers. Um, we're introducing a, a new program this year that involves a skid car, which is one of only five skid cars in the country that simulate driving on ice even when it's in the middle of the summer so that people can get that, uh, that experience of losing control and the, uh, the education on how to regain control of their vehicle. One of our pride and joys is engine one half. Um, and uh, Engine One Half is, uh, has come to the foundation for uh, community events, um, for community outreach programs, and to, uh, to bring people in so that we can speak to them about, uh, about some of our safety programs. And uh, we also will do uh, in events when we're allowed to actually go to them. Um, again, after, uh, after the pandemic passes, um, we'll have uh, CPR tables set up and we'll, we'll do demonstrations on hands-only CPR so that uh, people can understand what, uh, what measures need to be taken to, uh, to save a life in, in the event of uh, an accident or a medical emergency. And thank you for joining us for Fleet Friday. We'll see you next time.